the trim command is found in the modify panel and the break command is found when you click this little down arrow in the modify panel so there's the break command and there's a special version of the break command that we'll talk about later the trim command is useful for cutting away parts of objects where they hit the boundaries from other objects it's easier to show you how it works than to explain it so I'll come up here to the ribbon click the trim button and then down here on the command prompt it says select objects and then in brackets enter select all and what that means is if you press enter NanoCAD selects all the entities in the drawing and uses them as trimming boundaries and that's a really useful thing to do now it says select object to trim so anything you click now with the cursor is going to get cut away is going to get trimmed so let me start here this part of the circle is trimmed because these two lines here form the boundary the cutting edge so to speak I can carry on and select this part of a polyline and here the circle is the boundary as is the vertex of this polyline then there's another hint it says plus shift to extend so if you hold down the shift key instead of trimming it will extend the entity and so here it's extended it to the circle when you're done press enter to end the command the break command was the very earliest way to cut an object into pieces in this class of CAD program I'm going to come here up to the ribbon and in the modify panel choose break down here in the prompt it asks me to select objects but this prompt is a sneaky because the point at which you pick the object is also where the break begins so let me choose here and then it prompt asks for a second point so I click here and you see that the polyline is broken between the initial pick point where I selected the polyline and then the second point to create the break. To overcome this picking problem, the break command offers the first option. So down here, you click first point. That is where the break begins, not at my initial pick point, and then where the break ends. Now polylines have a peculiarity when it comes to breaking them in that they are broken in the direction they were drawn. Let me start the break command again and then pick points in the other direction of my previous pick sequence. Notice what happens. Most of the polyline is gone and that's because NanoCAD determines which part to keep and which part to break it by the direction in which the polyline was drawn. There is a special version of the break command called break at point. So let's start the command select the object and then the prompt asks you to specify a breakpoint and I'm gonna pick the intersection here with the circle repeat the command break again at the other intersection when I select that portion between the circle you can see that it's now an independent polyline from the entire polyline the super trim command in NanoCAD assumes you want to use all entities in the drawing as the boundaries for trimming. So if you come in into this modify submenu on the ribbon, you can click on smart trim. And then down on the command bar, you'll see that there is no prompt to select boundaries for as cutting edges. Instead, it directly prompts you to start trimming. And so I'll come over here and uh, click this part of the circle and it is trimmed. I'll click uh, this part of this polyline and it gets trimmed between the line and the vertex. Now built into both the trim and the super trim commands is the shift option to instead extend entities. So while you're in the trim command you can also be extending them. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and when I click on this polyline segment it extends out to the arc. Similarly the arc will be extended when I hold down the shift key and click on it.